baseball, America's pastime, its most iconic moment, the home run. Yeah, I, I can hit pretty far, but I, I hit baseballs for a living. You won't find Will Taylor on a big league roster. You'll find him in places like Vince Ganna Stadium in Bend, hitting moonshots to post on YouTube. Hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions are watching. Between all our platforms, I think we might be up to 2 million total followers. YouTube alone, we're at about 500,000 subscribers. Sitting on stools under the lights of Vince Gunna Stadium in Bend, I went searching for the story behind the runaway YouTube success that is the baseball bat bros. What I found is a love story, a love of baseball. All I ever wanted to be was a professional baseball player. Um, to the point where I didn't really explore other career paths. From Little League, right here in Bend. I played uh, double A here for uh, Bend North Little League for the, for the Devil Rays, shout out to my old teammates. Through high school in Portland and on to college at the University of Utah. Had a decent little career. I actually batted a thousand in my two short at bats, fun fact. But you know, I, I mostly rode the pine. I was, I was a pretty good ball player, but I, I played three years and then hung it up. The dream of playing in the major leagues faded into a day job, but the love of the game never dimmed. When I came back from school, uh, my brother, who's eight years younger than me, uh, I started, you know, coaching him. You know, when when I was done playing, trying to develop him to, you know, ho hopefully he can become a college baseball player one day. So we'd hit batting practice every single day. Younger brother John Taylor, better known as JT to baseball bat pros fans, is in several of the videos. Cam versus Will versus JT, home run derby, let's go. And as Will talks about his kid brother. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, I just missed it. <laughs> his already big smile gets a little brighter. My brother's the co-founder, and he's, you know, he he would be involved in every single shoot, but he, he's a college ball player. He might even play pro ball. He's really good. He plays at the University of Louisiana right now. He's a senior. So he's just, he's still balling. He's, he's, a, he's an active player right now. He's super, super good. In 2018, the bros hopped a fence and busted out a phone. We decided it'd be so fun to make a video comparing two similar bats against each other just for our personal, like we just get a kick out of it. So it's just me and my brother palling around. How long did it take for it to go from, hey, we're just playing with this to, oh my gosh, this is a job. Honestly, I think probably the very first video got such a reaction at that point, just the light bulb went off and it was like, oh my gosh, like we just discovered a niche. Nobody's doing this. Like we can actually contribute something to the baseball community. We can actually be the people that do this. The market is huge. Statista estimating 15.6 million Americans six and up have played at least one game in the last year. Baseball bats are a huge industry, right? Like if you don't know, like it's People are paying 300 all the way up to like $500 for like metal baseball bats these days. All right, we're giving the Vandal Lev 3 a little chance to prove itself right here. A big opportunity and an equally big risk. Will did what he does best, swing for the fences. When I first like decided to, you know, go full time with this and kind of stop my day job, uh, it was kind of a decision based around like, man, if I don't try this, at least for a year, I'm gonna be kicking myself. What up, what up? We're here with the baseball bat bros. So how does it work behind the scenes? Let's see if we can one take this right here. All right. What up, what up? We're here with the baseball bat bros. And today folks, the long awaited review of the 2024 Atlas from Louisville Slugger. Shoots typically involve two phones and one camera pretty bootleg setup as a lot of YouTubers will say. It's rarely more than a handful of people. I do most of the stuff and then Cam is production assistant slash BP pitcher slash he does he has like six other jobs within Bat Bros. Will's wife is helping out. She's hiding from the camera in the press box, monitoring the technology used to track baseballs. And my wife is uh, uh, exit velocity, uh, exit velocity connoisseur, that's like food. Exit, director of exit velocity. After a few practice swings, it's time to hit some nukes. Hammered. Hey, yo. Dude, that's peace. Standing on the sidelines, it's easy to get lost, staring up at the monster shots flying through the air. But I quickly see the long ball is not the secret recipe for success. Our kind of main mission and goal and mantra to the channel is be useful. Being completely honest, brutally honest with the reviews and trying not to sell out to bat companies. 
of the Atlas. We'll go ahead and show you those two different versions right now. Sure, honesty is one ingredient, but it's not the most important one. I really am just so grateful to be able to, to do this, to hit baseballs for a living and tell people about baseball bats for a living. It's that pure love of the game Will shows with every swing of the bat. When, you know, like a dad or something will recognize us in an airport and be like, hey man, I saw your video on this bat. I bought that bat for my kid. He freaking loves it. That's like the, that's special to me. Vince Ganna may be a long way from Yankee Stadium. It's definitely not, you know, me making the big leagues or anything like that, but I'm pretty happy with where my baseball career has kind of landed me. But Will has still found a success story that's out of the park. Oh! Telephone pole, light pole, same thing. Matt McDonald, Central Oregon Daily News. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.